Hi guys, it's Debbie here and I'm going to paint a fluid painting today and I'm going to be using acrylics and latex and I have them all pre-mixed up and what you do is you mix them with a pouring medium and there are several different pouring mediums out there, glute, uh, liquid tax, golden, you use something that's called Floetrol, you can use um, Mod Podge, there's many different ones and they all work very similar. Anyways, uh, today um, mine are all mixed with, um, you gotta, you gotta use like, a, a, this is three in one, I know you can't tell, um, but this is three in one, this is if you want to get the cells. Um, today I'm using three in one and um, I'm going to use this. I put a couple drops of this KY jelly in there so we'll see if it's um, how it's going to turn out. I have no idea <laughs> but um, I should. They all, all of them work very similar. Any type of lubricant um, should work very similarly. Um, you know, and you find one that works for you and you kind of stick with it or you can change it up if you want. I'll stick with one for a while and then I switch to another one. I'll, I'll feel it's not getting exactly what I want it to get and then I'll switch out. Um, and as I always say, I try to mix them. This one's a little thinner than usual, but um, some of the other ones are as thick. I try to mix them to a milk of magnesia and usually on the thick side, not on the thin side. If you go on the thin side, your colors will blend into each other a little more. So if you stick with the thicker side, um, those colors will be per more pronounced. So anyways, I'm going to bring it down and we're going to get started and see, see what cool thing we're going to make today. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to use an 8x10 canvas and this is my bueno poured out of a cup. This is my pour cup and the colors I'm using. Oops, slide this over some. Might have to back it off a little bit. <laughs> okay, so the colors that I'm using is going to be purple, pink, yellow, and white. And I have a little touch of black back here. Um, oh, you know what? Where's the other pink? Another pink. Here it is. Um, this pink is the, okay, the other all these th thicker ones, some of them are latex and a couple of them are where I used a whole tube of, um, of, um, <laughs> of uh, latex. Um, shoot, got that in my brain. Of, um, I'm sorry, Liquitex. So I've still mixed the Liquitex today and the Liquitex is mixed with golden. Um, Okay, so what else do I need to tell you? Oh, and this one is Creative Text, which I've talked about this a lot. Oops, Creative Text, because it's made for airbrush, it already has a flow medium in it, silicone type of flow medium. I have no idea what they use in there, but they use something that makes it so you really don't have to do anything with it. So, all right, um, I'm gonna start with the dark color today. That's my purple. You know, I was going to use pink, red too. Oh well, we'll just stick with these, I guess. That's a brighter pink. We'll get it moving in there. <laughs> um, I'm almost not liking my choices. I think, actually, I'm feeling like I want to put this teal in. Sorry, I have several paints all mixed up off to the side. Because I change my mind all the time. I have it all planned out. And then change my mind. <laughs> okay. So now maybe some yellow. So we have a couple different things in here to make these, to get these cells. So we're hopefully... See what's gonna happen today. 
Mm -hmm. It almost looks like the main part of it's going to be um, purple, but you never can trust that. I'm learning that. I like to stare into the cup and see what's, you know, I kind of figure, oh, it looks like all purple and pink, so I'll add extra this. And then it, you don't even see those colors sometimes. So, well, it all looks like it's going to be purple. So, will we be shocked if it's not? Hmm. Okay. I'm saving. I'm going to put a little touch of this black in, but I'm going to do it at the end so it's not so mixed all over the place. Um, there we got a few cells popping up now. See them coming up? They're really popping up. I'm gonna have just a little touch of yellow. Ooh, shoot. Okay, big touch. Dang. <laughs> and my black. And a little bit of white. I always say I'm not going to make, I'm going to cut back every time, but then I don't. You know, since the cup's a bit fuller, I'm going to switch out from using this 8x10. I apologize for this. I'm going to use that behind I have a 10x10. I'm going to use, um, just because it seems like I'm always mixing up way too much paint lately. I always feel like, God, I waste so much. Okay, um, where's my copy? Oh, I got um, a hard board here. These are, I have a ton of these left over from cutting mats and that. So, anyways, they're acid free, so somehow they turned out good. They're still, they're, um, you can use them for, you know, they're, they're, they're on good board, so they're not gonna. I'll deteriorate on you. Okay, so, um, anyways, let's see what we're going to get this time. Whoa! I'm going to move this last paint over away from me, because guess who might spill it? <laughs> Alright, guys, try to move this where you can see it. Okay. <laughs> Look at that black I put in at the end. I'm trying to keep it. I like the lines in a little bit. I like the way the lines on this um, add interest, although this one looks pretty busy. Sometimes um, they're not as busy. Okay, today, just with fun of it, um, heat gun or torch. Let's use torch. I've been switching up everything I'm doing lately. You get bored. A bunch of little ones coming in. I think they're going to come in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, now also too, tap the bottom, especially this, you can get it to move all the different directions at once if you want it. Um, Ooh, I didn't want to pour that corner off, but it's going. I like this side a lot. So you don't want to, to not risk losing that. Oh, shoot. I left, you guys, I left my bracelets on. Huh? Um, I've done that before. I'm going to try not to stick my arm in there. All right. I'm going to scoop up some of this right now. And get these corners. Got to get your corners. I like the colors in this. It's nice and bright. Um, I love bright colors on a painting. So, if you're watching my videos when they turn out, when some of these, because you know, you just don't know how they're going to turn out. When they turn out too um, um, pastel-y, I'm like always, oh no. 
I like them better when they're bright. Okay, so let's um, let's see what we got going here. Okay, I don't like this corner, so I might see if I can drip it off. Oops, see that corner? See if I can drip it off a little bit. There we go. Um, I like this, but there's not a, really, might not be enough of it to drag it all down in here. We'll see. See, all I'm doing is, whoops. Camera must have got the camera a little low today. Um, hmm. Well, where'd all that pink go? <laughs> Not, I'm gonna guess that must be some of it right there. Not sure. Need a paper towel here. See, I think what I'm going to do is hit it again, see if we get something else happening on this. Sorry, I've got a ton of paint on me and on my... One more time. See if something else comes up. I've only seen a few little ones come up. So, I think. trying to decide what to do as I look at it. It's hard when it's on camera here to think fast and figure out what the heck do I want to do. I think um, let's put some put some white. Put some white on it. And because um, I poured out most of my cup. Do I want to pour more on or swipe it? What do you guys hear, say? Let's see. I'm just going to put a little bit of this wipe in the cup just because it'll tone it down maybe a little bit. It won't look so. Whoops. Well, I guess we're going to have a little white on there. Yep. Um. Hmm. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, you got a couple of cells coming up here and there. Just a few, though. Um, I don't know if I'm going to swipe or just leave this on there. You know, sometimes if you hold it up real high, you can get some really cool designs afterwards that it wiggles in there. All right. Now sometimes to your, your um, swiping color, sometimes it helps to have it a little thinner. And um, I wasn't even thinking about that just now, than having it thick. But if you press, press just right, you can. Now what I wanna do is make little designs in here. This board wasn't really needed underneath here. <laughs> oh. I 
No, you can clean it off instead of dragging the color back in. Okay. Now the thing is you don't want, the one thing you don't want is you don't want it, that's not quite in the middle, but you really, you want to make sure you don't have your line in the middle because it kind of divides it up. You should try to take it down a little farther than what I did. That's okay, we'll figure out something different to do. Oops, I kind of went kind of close there. <laughs> Let's do this side. I got a little black over here. I'm going to just lightly put a little bit on right in here. Oops, which I guess that's the best side. It's not quite hitting the whole thing. I really didn't plan on doing this on this. But Okay, this one over here. Let's see if we hit it with the heat gun. Get that going just in case. I never know. I try all different things. If something's not working, I go on to the not. And at some point, either I give up or I end up with something I might like. <laughs> so I want to take a little of this white. Just over in here. So I need another scraper. Right picture to very pastel y <laughs> with blacks. Alright, let's see what the heat gun can do. Just a bunch of. Oh, here we go. I got a little bit more happening. something. When you see it pulling that paint a little bit there, that's because I hit it and it's kind of, it's got a little, um, see that hot pulling the paint on there? 
that's because I hit it with the heat gun now. It's like, to this point, it's like, you better leave me alone. I've had it. <laughs> because it's made it a little drier than the rest of it. So, well. I can say I don't like this at all. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pour some paints in my cup real quick. We'll have a pool of paint right here when I get done. So I'm going to pour some paints in there. I'm going to put some more paint on there. Just a few. We'll see if it's still going to make sure that wasn't separating out. Because there's dark colors underneath that I'm going to put red in this time. And put all that pink in. Red, pink, yellow. So we got red, pink, yellow. I don't know, I can't help but put some teal in. My teal is kind of thick, so. And I mixed it, I will try to spread it out all over in here. We'll see how that works. Mm. Um. Okay. We're red. What the heck? This is probably going to be... If I had to guess, this is going to have a lot of colors in there, but you never know. Um, so we got some black underneath there. Let's see. What the heck? <laughs> Again with the torch. Okay. All right, so now if we can turn this one into something fabulous. Where'd all the fabulous paintings go? I hit the bottom, it pops up in air bubbles. Hmm. Okay, so now I'm trying to not quite ruin it. <laughs> I don't know if I can catch any of that color from over in here. You see the other color from underneath here. Oops. kind of drug it across there. Sometimes, I don't really, because this one needs a little something going on, so maybe a couple little lines, little lines are coming out in splotches. <laughs> um, all I'm trying to do is move the corners right now a little bit. That's why it's nice to paint on something circular with this kind of painting because you don't have to worry too much about 
You don't have to worry about any corners. Oh, shut. Shoot. <laughs> oh, boy. I, ha I don't often paint with any orange, only because my paint, I like to use a lot of red and um, yellow, and that makes orange. So I always end up with some kind of orange when I use those two colors. So, um, whoops, well, that didn't look so good. Well, um. Paints everywhere and don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna turn the heat gun on again, see if we can get something to happen. With all this paint on there, you'd think something would be happening. I'm just grabbing a couple of towels before I float away and paint. I'm gonna tap the bottom of this. This one ought to take a week to dry. <laughs> All the paint on there. Mm. Well, you can tell the paints are pretty thick when... Nothing's happening. So um, it's well. There is a little bit over here that did happen. It came up after I moved it away. See that? That's about it. I don't think that's. This, I think I'm um. I'm done with this. <laughs> I think I've tried about everything I can to save it. So um, you can check this one out too. <laughs> I repaint. There's so much paint on it though. It'd be too heavy for a nail at some point. But anyways, <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it.